Madame Bach to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Thank you. Hello Dermat Lovers, mabuhay. So again, this is Sir Larry M. Del Rosario. Okay? So yung didiscuss natin ngayon ay yung part 5 ng ating arithmetic sequence. So marami na din akong mga nakitang nagsasuggest nito kasi natagalan din yung installment kung kailan ko siya nung last na na-upload ko na yung apat na parts. So nagtagal din tayo dun sa, sa last part na to. So I guess kailangan ko na siyang tapusin para sa pagdating na pasukan yung mga students natin, masusundan nila yung, masusundan ninyo yung parts ng arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, bago natin ito simulan, yung part 5 or yung last part ng arithmetic sequence natin, uh, uh, please do not forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest videos natin. Of course, meron na din akong official Facebook page na kakagawa lang maybe a week ago I will just put the link down at the description box para ma-follow din ninyo and invite nyo na din yung friends nyo to like the page okay it will be a great help for me okay so in this video hindi na hindi na ako nakagawa pa ng um powerpoint presentation kasi uh, medyo busy din but I will try my best to deliver the lesson na kahit na wala tayong powerpoint presentation ay mas maintindihan nyo siya kahit ang gamit ko lang ay pen and uh, app na pang pang draw okay so let's start dito sa ating uh, last part okay, sana maraming matuwa dito sa last part natin Okay, yung last part natin ay kadugtong ng sum of arithmetic sequence. Okay, so dito, yung last part na, 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 na iwan ko sa inyo ay find the sum of the first 50 terms of an arithmetic series with a sub 1 equals 28 and the common, di common difference is negative 4. Okay, yung last na discuss ko sa inyo sa arithmetic sequence, dapat given yung number of terms or given yung ating last term, Okay, pag given yung last term, definitely, uh, mostly, alam na natin kung ano yung last term. Given yung first term, ano eh, number of terms, the first term, and the last term. So, dun sa tiniscuss ko sa inyo, dapat alam natin again yung n, number of terms, a sub 1, which is the first term, and our a sub, sorry, our a sub 50. Okay, bakit a sub 50? Bakit po sir a sub 50? Kasi we are looking for the sum of the first 50 terms. So definitely, ang last term natin ay a sub 50. So kailangan natin malaman ng n, number of terms, yung a sub 1 and our uh, a sub 50. Okay, in this case, nakita nyo naman ang n natin ay 50. So given na siya n is 50. Okay. A sub 1 is 28. Ayun yung A sub 1 natin, which is 28. Okay. Ang A sub 50 natin is missing. So, in this case, we need to look first for our A sub 50. So, paano yun? We will use the general rule of arithmetic sequence. Yung ating A sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the d or the common difference. Since we are looking for a sub 50, so magiging a sub 50 lang yung n natin. Yung n pinalitan natin ng 50, yung a sub 1 natin automatic is 28 plus yung n natin, kung pinalitan natin ng 50, automatic 50 din yung n natin dito. Minus 1. Yung common difference natin ayon. So, we have negative 4. Okay, nakakasunod sana, no? So, a sub 50 equals 28 plus 50 minus 1 is 49 times negative 4. So, a sub 50 is equal to 28 
plus 49 times negative 4 is negative 1. Sorry, 196. Okay, same sign added, keep different signs subtract. Okay, so, so we have 28 plus negative 196. It's simply 28 minus 196. So yung A sub 50 natin, kapag sinubtract natin tong dalawa na to, yung 28 plus negative 196, it will become negative 168. Okay, so kumpleto na siya. Kumpleto na yung ating terms. Okay, we can now apply yung ginagawa nating rule. So, ang rule natin in multiply, in, in adding the terms of sequence, given yung first and last term ay S sub N equals N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Kung ano yung last term natin. So, that will give us S. Yung N natin ay number of terms. So, alam natin that that's equal to 50. So, 50 din dito yung N natin. Divided by 2. Yung A sub 1 natin ay 28. Yung last term natin ay negative 168. Okay, para di kayo malito. Since negative na yun, let us put already, instead of plus, ilagay na natin siya ng minus 1, 6, 8. Okay, so that will give us S sub 50 equals 25 multiplied by 28 minus 1, 6, 8 is negative 1, 40. Okay, S sub 50 is equal to 25 times negative 140 is negative 3,500. Okay. So, ayun na yung sagot natin. Negative 3,500. Okay. Sabihin nyo naman sa akin yun, Sir, what if ayaw po namin gamitin yung... Ayaw naman po namin gamitin yung yung unang rule. So, meron pa po ba tayong another way para mas mabilis po namin siyang ma-solve? Mas okay? So, meron tayong another way. So, ito yung ituturo ko ngayon. Okay, so ito yung another way natin on how to solve this one. Okay, in this case, bakit ituturo ko pa yung another way? Kasi, sa case natin na to, we don't need or you don't need to find the last term anymore. Again, hindi nyo na kailangan hanapin yung A sub 50. If follow nyo lang tong formula ang ibibigay ko sa inyo, then it's all good. Okay, so ang formula ang gagamitin natin ay S sub N equals N over 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the d. Okay. Medyo longer lang siya but still, um, for me, preferred ko siya kasi I don't need to find the last term anymore. So, para sa akin, mas gusto ko siya. It's up to you if you, if the other one or the first one is easier for you. Okay. So, since 50, so we have s sub 50 terms. That will give us 50 that's 50. Sorry. 50 over 2. 2 times yung A sub 1 natin ay 28. Plus, yung N natin ay 50 minus 1. Yung common difference natin ay negative 4. Okay. So, S sub 50 equals 25. 2 times 28 is 56 plus 49 kasi 50 minus 1 is 49 times negative 4 okay so s of 50 is equal to 25 so we have 56 49 times negative 4 is negative 140 I sorry, negative 196. So, that's simply negative 196. So, S of 50 is equal to 25 times 56 minus 196 is negative 140. So, S of 50 is equal to 25 times negative 140 is simply negative 3,500. 
Okay, so same lang sila ng sagot, same lang sila ng final answer. That means you can do either way around. Pwede yung kanina, pwede yung ginawa ko ngayon. Sa case natin kanina, we need to find the last term first and then apply natin yung tinuro ko sa inyo sa part 4 ng arithmetic sequence. Sa case natin dito, we don't need to do or we don't need to find the last term. All we have to do is to follow the formula. It's a bit longer, pero uh, in this case, uh, given na lahat yung ating um, terms, isa-substitute na lang natin. So for me, it's a lot easier. Okay? So I guess you, uh, I hope you learned something on our video. Thank you dun sa mga uh, nang, nagbigay ng patience nila in waiting for the part 5. Talagang sabi nila sa akin, I'm still waiting for the part 5. Thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate your your patience and your uh, effort na magpunta sa channel ko. And I really appreciate you all. I cannot contain my happiness whenever I see comments na na nag thank you or nagpapasalamat na natututo sila sa mga videos na ginagawa ko okay yung mga kasabi naman na mas marunong mas maganda o mas natututo sila sa video ko na to uh, don't get me wrong I do not intend to replace your teacher okay yung teacher nyo pa din ang makapagtuturo sa inyo I'm just helping them I'm just giving you a complimentary lesson para mas maintindihan nyo pa ng mas madali Okay, so I hope you learned something in our video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to hit the notification bell, and of course, yung pung aking official Facebook page that I will include the link on the description box. Ang pangalan din niya ay A I Love Math or A I Love Math. So please, please invite your friends to like the page kasi uh, one week na siya and 300 followers pa lang siya. Thank you guys. Thank you great time for watching. Good day and God bless.